Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my new channel. Uh, this is more of a practice video. Uh, I have other series in mind I wanted to do, but I figured a haul video is the best way to get started. So, let's get started. First off, this one is not a manga. It is a collection of Instagram posts by editor and translator Ryan Holmberg. So it's just a lot of his basically short essays and whatnot on various manga topics. Uh, next up is The Lullaby from Glacier Bay Books. It's a, it's a short little book with some neat little art. It's the third part in their Sleepy Child series. Next up we have Gliolia 2, the limited edition from Glacier Bay Books as well. It has some ink stains on the sides and inside is a stamping with the letter T as they're limited by letters. It's a very nice anthology. Now this one is from Taco Cheb, but I got it from Glacier Bay Books. It's Alchemic Graphics. Not really so much of a um, manga, but an art book that might have sequential narratives. Flip through here real quick. It's got some very detailed and bizarre artwork. And also the spine is open-faced. Again, from Glacier Bay, we have one of their newest releases, Children of Moo Town. It's got a very nice cover and I'm excited to read it. I have no idea what it's actually about. This is a double feature. I have two editions of Ripples, again from Glacier Bay. Uh, one of them is a Rizzo Graph printing, one of them is a regular printing. From Taco Che, we have Travel and Women. It is an anthology for women manga creators. Not sure how to pronounce this one. Lightning and Leper, I don't even, I'm not even gonna try. But this one is more of an art book, but it does have a single story comic within it. All the way from Japan, we have Bringing Home the Sushi. This is actually a collection of essays and manga from the publisher Manga Gene. It's basically to help people understand Japanese. And this one is more about business. From Fantagraphics, we have Massive, which is a very big anthology on gay manga. Otherworld Barbara, Volumes 1 and 2, from Fantagraphics. From the defunct publisher, CMX, this is a short horror manga. It has three volumes, they're all very out of print, and I got very lucky finding this volume, so I just gotta find two more. Another book from Fantagraphics, Bottom Feeders. This one is a really good book, I've already read it. It's a full color illustrations. And from what I can tell, it's about the horrors of gentrification. From a, another defunct publisher, Paradox Press, we have Gone's Colored Spectacular. This is a very thin book, has just a couple of short stories about Gone in a full color illustrations. From Tokyo Pop's former name, Mix Manga, we have the very first volume of Parasite in English. It is a very small book compared to the other volumes, and it reads left to right. A special book I've been looking for for a very long time. One Piece Volume 1 Limited Edition out of 5,000. These uh, volumes are holographic all the way around, so they're nice and uh, shiny. I've just been looking for it everywhere and I finally found it. I had to pay a high price for it, but it's mine now. From Marvel Knights, 
comes Strange Tales. I am holding the book the correct way. It's supposed to be upside down. This is an anthology of various comics. And the reason I got this is because there is a short story about Spider-Man done by Junko Mizuno and her take on him. And I thought it was a very funny, cute little story. Long out of print book from Drawn and Quarterly is the first Kitaro volume they did. Has some nice French flaps. It took a lot of patience trying to find this book as it goes for some ridiculous prices sometimes. I got these from Right Stuff, the Legend of the Overfiend volumes 3 and 4. I've been waiting a while to nab these as these are the Faku editions, which are well out of print now. There's still some stock left, but I wanted to grab these before the Denpa volumes start getting published. From Louis Vuitton, the clothing, st clothing store, they have these art books called travel books. And this one is Venice by Jiro Taniguchi, a marvelous mangaka. And this story specifically is about a man walking around through Venice reminiscing about his family. And it's a, quite a lovely story. It's also full color. Also from Louis Vuitton is Route 66 by Tom Otts. I bought a display copy to read. But after I finished reading it, uh, I saw that it was damaged. I took it back into the store and I got a new replacement. That's why my copy is still sealed. Uh, the book itself has some very amazing scratchboard artwork within it. This is a co-published book from... can't really pronounce the French publisher, but the English one is Breeze. The Hero's Life and Death Triumphant. This is a rather strange book. Got some nice French flaps, but let me show you some inside illustrations. See, this is the uh, chapter one start. I bought this book off of a recommendation from comics reviewer Joe McCulloch. He did a whole breakdown of it in his podcast, Comics Are Burning in Hell. My next book comes all the way from Japan from a publisher called Lapida. This is an art book by Hiroshi Hirata. I'm going to show you some of the artwork in here. Very, uh, sorry about the light. Very, some nice spectacular works in here. And the reason I got this art book is because there is an English one-shot collected in here, the story Two Warriors. Two Warriors is also collected in the anthology titled Manga from the publisher Metroscope. Another very large book, Drawn in Quarterly Volume 5, an anthology by Drawn in Quarterly. And the reason I went after this book is because... story by Yoshihiro Tatsumi in here. It's a very short story called Kept. And this story is not collected in any of the other A variant cover by Peach Momoko. I was actually a backer for this book. Abs 
Absolute Swamp Thing, Volume 2. I had to wait a very long while to get this. The Tipping Point Ultra Deluxe Edition. Now I know this looks like a bump, but it's not a bump. It's completely flat right here. It's just part of the design. This is a uh, sticker that you can remove. I'm trying to keep the sticker on as best I can, but it looks like it wants to peel off by itself. This right here is the greatest one shot to ever be produced and I highly recommend you get this, just for this story. Shinku Ha, it's a silent comics anthology from Ota Motoyuki. On Zune, volumes one, two, three, and four. This is a slip cover containing the four books. Uh, sadly, the uh, bottom got a bit damaged. Monsoon is a non-fictional anthology series from Taiwan. Volumes 2 to 4 are bilingual with English. Volume 1 is not in English though, but it did come with a translation sheet. Dagger Dagger, an anthology series that I backed on Kickstarter. Excited to dig in. XMAG, these are the Kickstarter exclusives with the dust jackets. This is volume three. Unfortunately, mine came with a bit of an issue, but I didn't feel it was worth bringing up. There's a slight tear in the paper. The Tetsu Pendium by Tetsunori. The Day of the Flying Head Collection from Shintaro Kago. One Piece, volumes 46 and 54. These are the first printings and they each have a speed up sticker in the back from when Viz would celebrate starting a new arc. Gone from the UK publisher called Mandarin Paperbacks. This is actually two regular volumes in one. This is Fallen Words by Yoshihiro Tatsumi. I grabbed this because I saw that it was going out of print and I managed to get one from a comic shop online. Unfortunately, the only issue is that it has some weird ink stain on the bottom. But aside from that, the book is mostly fine and the ink stain doesn't really mess with the bottom of the pages either. It's all still white. To finish off this video, I have some anime as well. The Ghost in the Shell movie Blu-ray from uh, Best Buy, Best Buy exclusive, just released the Planets Blu-ray Collector's Edition from all the anime in the UK. It's a very nice release. Millennium Actress Collector's Edition also from Anime UK, Anime Limited I meant. Uh, hello again. So I'm filming this, well I filmed this later on. I've been editing for about 10 hours now. This is my first time editing at all. And I just wanted to get some feedback on this video. I had a lot of neat stuff I wanted to show people. Friends have been telling me forever to make a channel to discuss manga and comics and whatnot. Thank you for watching if you did watch this far. And I don't know, like and subscribe.